jump ball here. Uh, but this is a setup for China, you know, having Jason, what do you think about the repercussions of her visit? So CATL, which is Tesla's biggest battery supplier, basically, you know, delayed the announcement of a of a factory. It's not clear whether they're going to put it into the United States. They may actually pick a city in Mexico. But what the decision that was supposed to happen now has now been delayed until September or October. There's a bunch of, you know, there's all of these crazy military drills that happened. Was it all worth it? I mean, that is the question. And, and I, I'm asking why you, now? was it yeah. worth it? We don't have enough information, I think, to know what, why this was done now. It, it, was it a no, freelance offer? Hold on, hold on. He it. asked me a question. Let me finish. Is, is it a freelance, and Nancy Pelosi is completely freelance, or is there a bigger strategy here is the question. Is China weak now? Are we trying to send a message to them? And one could equally take the side of the argument that the United States supporting Finland, uh, supporting Sweden, supporting NATO, you know, supporting the Ukraine and supporting the Pacific is actually the right move here to contain the dictators. I agree, but to, we have a, yeah. I agree, but we have two people to do that. It's the president and the secretary of state. Well, that would be a, a much bigger provocation, I think, is the issue. So if you sent the president, that would be a very big provocation. The Thomas Friedman article that Sachs mentions yeah. was pretty explicit that, you know, Blinken and Biden both told her, please stand down. Yeah. The NSC and the Joint Chiefs said, please stand down. You are way over your ski tips here. And she's I still agree. Did. I agree. I, 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 I've been very public. What is the point of doing this now is the question. And we don't have information. Once China tried to dictate to Pelosi that she couldn't go, of course, we had to back her play. But you have to be kind of a fool to fall for this in the first place. This was self-indulgent by Pelosi. She didn't need to pick this battle. The administration asked her not to. And look, let me give Biden some credit here. Biden has the right policy on Taiwan, which was stated this way. He says that we support the status quo and we are against unilateral changes to the status quo. We want the United States to be a status quo power with respect to Taiwan and force China to be the revisionist power. And we need to be very careful that we do not come across as the revisionist power. That would give China an excuse. So we want to just maintain the status quo. That should be our policy. All right, everybody, we'll see.